when you get closer to Allah, one of the signs of closeness to Allah is you, you become softened with other human beings. That's a sign of the mercy of Allah. If you want to know that Allah has mercy on you, your heart is softened when it comes to others. The way you talk to them is very respectful. The way you help them is selfless. The way you reach out to them shows concern for them in a beautiful way. That is a sign of the mercy of Allah. It shows you are close to Allah. Did you hear what I said? If you think you are pious and you have an attitude that has no gratitude, remember you are not pious. If you think you are pious and the way you speak to your family members is rough and very, very harsh and hard, that is a sign that your piety is fake. It's fake. You can make six salah a day. Your piety is fake. Why? Because true piety shows in your character, in your conduct, in the way you deal with people, in the way you speak to people, starting with your spouse, your parents, your children, your brothers, your sisters. That is true piety. Then your family members. How do, do you make your spouse happy? Really happy by telling them things just to make them happy. Do you? If you do, perhaps you have a sense of connection with Allah. Especially when it is difficult, when it is hard. I was saying again this afternoon in Jumu'ah and I'm saying it again because we need to keep repeating it. Serving your parents is not going to be easy. How do I know it's not going to be easy? Because Allah says by doing that you will get Jannah. If Allah tells you by doing something you will get Jannah, it's not easy, it's tough. That's why he says you're going to get Jannah. It's very tough. When, when you get married and you have kids and your mother is now old and there's politics between your mom and your wife and so many other things happening and so on. And then you've got to juggle between the two and you've got to play the politics and become a huge politician in the house because you know how to please all the people by telling them things you don't really mean and so on. All of that is a battle and a struggle. It's an uphill struggle throughout your life. At the end of it, perhaps if you were genuine, Allah will give you Jannah because he knows you tried to maintain the peace. It's not a joke. If it was so easy, do you really think Allah would tell us, serve your mother, you get Jannah? <laughs> no, it's, it's hard. <laughs> Jannah, the commodity of Allah is expensive. It's not cheap. You're going to have to read Fajr, not just one day, every day. Then you get Jannah. Do you get the point? You're going to have to dedicate every day. There is no cheat day as though you're on a little spiritual diet. No. You know, when you want to lose weight, they tell you six days, no food. Seventh day, cheat day. No problem. Eat what you want. Subhanallah. 